This video is about shaping the sound, how resistors influence high frequency response in our horn speaker. This next slide is a graph that shows by changing the resistor's value, it changes the sound frequency response as demonstrated in the later frames. Today we're going to discuss how the resistors that come along with our speaker systems, indoor horn 2 plus 2 and other horn accessories all have the ability to alter their frequency response and their apparent loudness of the horn itself. It's all done through this resistor. It is the series leg, or I should say parallel leg of the L-pad. The series leg is inside the speaker. So what we do here is we use different values of resistors to change their frequency response. So you put the resistor in like this, you tighten down the posts, this is essentially shunting some of the audio signal to ground. As you can see from positive to ground here, this is a one ohm resistor. It provides a slight lift to the upper high frequencies, almost flap it, maybe like a plus three dB. We'll go on from there to the other resistor values. This value is a 0.75 ohm resistor. We will include this in the resistor pack that you get. Uh, it does lower the horn output a bit, a few decibels. Um, it provides for a less bright sound. You will simply place this in place instead of the one ohm resistor. You just put it here and here like this. And you would just tighten down the horn attachment points. And you will have a slightly softer horn output. This is a 0.62 resistor. It further decreases the horn output. You put the resistor in if you need a softer horn sound.
far away from me. You're so far away from me. You're so far I just can't see. You're so far away from me. You're so far away from me. Oh.